Hello YouTube. I wasn't going to do a post about this because this is really not my forte. But I saw I was in Zero Hedge and noticed that uh, a one-liner, the copper has risen the most that it has in 11 months due to the earthquake in Chile and what it has done to the mines there. Um, and of course that got me curious. I don't know if HARP was related to this earthquake or not. Um, I do look at the astronometry who did call this. Um, maybe there could be something in conjunction with. Anyway, my little squirrely brain goes there, so I got to wondering, hmm, who owns copper? So, of course, I looked at the usual suspects, Black Rock, Goldman Sachs, um, just to see, you know, what. And, of course, they are in copper. I guess it would be shocking if they weren't. Um, so, I looked at a whole lot of articles. All the links are on the sidebar. Um, I don't know that this adds up to anything other than the big boys win again. But, those of you who are investors might want to look at investing in copper. Um, it sounds like because of Haiti and Chile um, and, and China still, I guess, having a rather high demand for it, that the prices may be pretty good for a while. So, if anyone like Deb Truth wants to really dig into this, or any of you folks who are really into stocks, um, you could probably make a post about this that would make more sense than my post. Now this isn't to say that silver and copper aren't good because of course they, I mean silver and gold, of course they are, but uh, might be time to start looking at those pennies. Take good care folks. Hopefully I'll be doing another post later about something I do know about. Manure and mulch. See y'all later. Bye now.